Alright, so we got some stuff that we want to cover today, where during the Lovers and Friends concert that was being put on between Chris Brown and Usher, there was an altercation, and let me preface this by saying this one thing. Chris Brown just turned 34. His birthday was May 5th. Happy birthday to you! And since the month of May has started, he's already been in two altercations, so we're going to cover both of those now. Alright, so this report that we're going to be looking into is actually taken from The Vulture who also took their information from TMZ and what it says is Chris Brown reportedly jumped Usher at a skate ring birthday party. Now immediately when I hear that, red flags immediately go up for me because we're not just talking about them two getting into a fight. That I understand. This headline actually says he jumped him so I need some context before I just believe this. Was it with two friends? Was it just him? Did he jump him from behind? Let's dig into this and find out. Here's what it says. And immediately I could tell this report is already starting off snarky. Maybe they shouldn't be calling it Lovers and Friends Festival because just hours before Usher and Chris Brown were set to perform separate sets at their R&B and hip-hop event, the two appeared to get into a fight at a nearby Las Vegas roller rink, Hollywood Unlocked. Let me pause right there just for a second. Now when it comes to the situation with Hollywood Unlocked, I know that there are some things in question, but I don't really try to question the legitimacy of anyone's reporting, but aren't they a gossip site? Maybe I should just leave that one alone. Alright, so continuing, it says Hollywood Unlocked first reported that Brown allegedly jumped Usher. I'm gonna need some proof of that. Brown was celebrating his 34th birthday at the ring into the early hours of May 6th and he reportedly tried at one point to talk to singer-actor Tiana Taylor who was ignoring him. TMZ later obtained a few seconds of video in which Brown appears to yell to a sitting Taylor before Usher steps in to try to calm him down. Per both outlets, this made Brown mad and he left with his group Usher followed, reportedly only after unlacing his skates first. Smart move, because obviously, yeah, you don't... Who wants to be fighting on skates? Seriously, if you know you're going to get into some kind of altercation, or even if there's a potential that you might get into some kind of altercation, never, ever do it on roller blades or on roller skates unless you are an absolute pro. And even then, there's still the fear that you might fall and crack your head. So he unlaced his skates first and allegedly went to meet Brown and Co. behind some buses parked outside. Both outlets reported he left with a bloody nose. I gotta say, if I could be a fly on the wall just watching that. But this is what I was saying. I completely understand that there might have been a scrap, but I need some context as to what it is that would have caused something like this to happen. And this is where they allude to now. As for what started the fight, TMZ went on to report it was over Brown's scrapped Michael Jackson tribute, which was originally planned for last year's American Music Award. Brown reportedly blamed Taylor for the cancellation. <laughs> They added their own little commentary in between that and then said, Despite becoming haters and enemies, both Brown and Usher still took to the stage that night at Lovers and Friends. Per TMZ, neither showed signs of injury when they performed back to back. Obviously, they wouldn't. But Brown did seem to have more fight in him the next night. When TMZ caught a mid altercation at the festival, where security appeared to get between Brown and some others, while the singer has yet to specifically address the Usher fight, he did claim he simply intervened. And of course, it concludes by illustrating some comments that were made by Chris Brown. Now, that's basically the gist of what transpired. Now, from what they're alluding to, the reason or the context behind all of this taking place is because he was trying to confront her about her taking some part in his cancellation of the Michael Jackson tribute that he was supposed to perform in the AMAs. To the best of my knowledge, he was never really given an explanation as to why his set was cancelled. And if this is the case, he's probably just looking for some answers. Got it. No harm, no foul. Well, I can't really say that, actually. There was some harm and there was some foul. Take one thing into consideration, though, that this is story one of two. So the second altercation, allegedly now, this one actually has Chris Brown publicly commenting on an IG post that was reporting on his face off from Saturday night where he was in the middle of what appeared to be a scuffle on the verge of breaking up backstage during Missy Elliott's set at the Lovers and Friends Festival in Vegas. All of this is reported by TMZ. According to Chris's words, what he was saying was people started pushing back, so he intervened to let them know my child was back there. Now, is there something here that probably happened? More than likely. Chris already said his piece on social media. Usher already said his piece on social media and they're probably gonna do everything that they need to do to make sure that this doesn't get any further than it needs to be. If there is one thing that admittedly I am curious about though, it's that alleged first confrontation at the roller rink. 
if this really is about the cancellation of the Michael Jackson tribute and he was blaming Tiana Taylor for this in any way, not to say that she is responsible for it, but if she did have some part to play in it, I'm curious as to what, like who does she speak to and what was being said that could have levied such a cancellation, especially for someone like Chris Brown. Let me know what it is that you guys think though. If there's some details that I missed, which I'm sure there are, or if there's more to the story than actually meets the eye. But if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like and comment, and I will see you again for the next one. Be easy.